I have here a BMW key that somehow have managed to do some swimming in the Black Sea. Yes, the Black Sea have salty water. And now this remote don't work anymore. Even if this remote is watertight, somehow the water have managed to enter inside of uh, this remote control. So I will open this remote control and see if uh, I'm able to do something. And first thing, uh, the battery of uh, this remote control was removed. Now the only thing that I need to remove is to remove the board from the remote control. You can see here this lip, you can see this rubber lip was supposed to make a perfect seal around this cap. But you can see here inside some watermarks and there. This BMW key is glued together from factory. The case is melt together to be bound with ultrasounds. And in this case, I need to force my way in with my trusty knife with the dull blade. I will try to open this key. And it's not so hard. I need to be very careful with the blade because if I will uh, stick the blade inside of the key wrongly, I will broke something from the board. And I'm inside. Okay, nothing to see here. I have these three plastic clips that are melted to keep the board in place. But with a little force, the board is free. And you can see the water damage here. Okay, now I will inspect this board on the microscope. Here, everything seems to be in order. Okay. And on the back side, this here is the coil. Okay. And you can see here some water damage. And here. Don't look so bad, but... Okay, finally. So what I'm thinking now, I think this board don't have any problem. And the only problem was the battery. Because of the water, maybe the battery was shorted and have remained without power. Here I have something, no, nothing. Yeah, from what I see, I think this guy is lucky. I will clean this board in the ultrasonic bath and after that I need to test it on the car. From here I will take my ultrasonic bath, plank it here. It's keeping the ultrasonic bath safe. In the ultrasonic bath, I will use some alcohol with careful 
because it's not very good combination. Now I will put the board. Okay, after one minute, I think it's enough. I will uh, leave this board to get dry for the alcohol to evaporate. And next step, I will clean the case of the remote control with my trusty old toothbrush. I have this since Ice Age. Okay, I will clean this case. Now the board is dry, I will check it again. On this side everything is okay. And on the back, I have here in this area some uh, marks from where the water has stained. But I think this was nothing. This wasn't a big deal and this guy was lucky. Before I will reassemble back the remote control, I want to test it first to see if uh, the remote control have a problem or have a short circuit. To do this, I will use my power supply, my bench power supply. I will set it to 3 volts because this is the voltage of the battery. 3 volts. On the remote control, this one from here is the minus and this one is the plus. This is the minus, the black one. I will connect it here. And this is the plus. I will connect it here. Now, at this moment, if this remote control have a short circuit or something that will draw current, I will be able to see it here on the amperage meter. But in this case, if you can see, it's zero, zero, zero. Now, I will push a button. Five milliamps. Ten milliamps. Eight milliamps. From what I see, this remote control seems to be working. The 10 milliamps is the current that this uh, remote control need to work. So now I will uh, reassemble back this remote control and after that I need to test it on the car. But I'm pretty sure this will work. Okay, now I will mount back the remote control. First I need to prepare the case. Let's see. The case now is not aligning perfectly. So to do the alignment, I will clean the surface, the cut surface, you can see here, you can see this, I need to clean it. And I will clean it like so. the sharpie knife I will clean the inside edge and now I have a nice surface if there is some 
nasty stuff. Okay, this one the same. I will clean the inside edge. This inside edge, this slip was created when the case was bound together, was melt to bone together. Okay, now this case is coming together. You can see this big difference. Okay, now I will mount back this remote control. I do some fast glue. I will pour some on my knife. And from here, I will spread it to the lip of my remote control. And I need to be fast. Now I will try to align this key, the cases, and I will keep it in this position, a couple of seconds, for the glue to work. And from now on, I know for sure this key won't be able to be watertight. But this is the life. If you are uh, taking the key with you when you're taking a bat in the Black Sea, this is the life. I need a new battery and to test this remote on the car. Couple of days later, I have a brand new battery. I have the car. Put back the battery. Now, yeah, it's working perfectly. And now I'm very sure if the Remote control will work to open and close the car. I am very sure that this remote control will start the car. Yeah, everything is working for uh, this remote control. I have spent some time to open it and clean it, but the end result is worth it. If you like this video, if you like my work, show me by hitting the like button. Thank you for being with me and watching these videos. And till next time, stay awesome. Bye now.